Me, I've been on the other side of stuff. Mm. Now the toxic one, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? Don't think too deep. I didn't go too deep. <laughs> what am I <laughs> Okay. Yes, we are. Is it to go live? What channel do you see? silent because you know the way guys just love calling me as soon as we start rolling. <laughs> like, okay, yeah, mine is also that you're doing something serious. Oh, Let me God. interrupt. Hi. Yeah, it's, it's, it's when they see Hi. your Insta story, Hi. the one right before the the shoot. Right. Yeah, the one that I just let me call for that one. Sunday, yeah. I watched the episode in your name. Alright, can we Michelia. just snitch who came late? All I know is we came in at the same time. Everybody. Please don't even try. You came in at the up. same time. I don't yeah. do that. that sounds like a trista. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I no, can't no, regret I saying that. that. I knew I it. I wasn't second. You came in at I the same knew, time. I knew. I knew I would regret <laughs> saying that, but it's fine. I said it anyway. <laughs> Who did? We were on time. Yeah. Okay. We were just on time. Any time you show up is your time. I was. Li- why were you not there first of all? See me now to live an exchange program. Uh, no. Why were you not there? <laughs> Explain yourself. You missed out. I took a nap at 8 p.m. <laughs> and then I woke up at 4 a.m. Yeah? Mm. You, had a, you had an event the what? previous day. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And then I, I had a morning show that Saturday. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I got home. I like, I, like cleaning. I like cleaning on Saturday. So I like cleaning on Saturday. I like cleaning on Saturday. I woke up at four Nikki on my Instagram. These guys are dancing. Four AM. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I think it's the time I was grabbing myself out of the club. Well, I think that's when Wally. No, yeah, I, I left you guys here. So you guys probably left at that time. I don't know. I don't know what time I slept. Mm. I don't know. But I just know I woke up the next day and I was very lit. I was <laughs> you were still so, lit. <laughs> I was like, eh? That was a solid night, man. You guys missed out, man. Yeah, you it was a good one. Out. The next one is coming through. We're gonna, of course, if you wanna know when the next one is, check out the socials. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, if you like. Uh, party for millennials yeah uh and the vibe what, what was your what, what you 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 came to the event what, what would you say i loved it man yeah. i think what would you say the event is about it's about throwbacks and nostalgia and mm. you know like when you hear a song it takes you back to that exact moment yeah. and every song did that for me yeah. so it was Do you know amazing. which one mine was yeah. when the dj played don't mess with my man, <laughs> it took me back, yeah. guys. Like, yeah. oh so my it God. was the Kenyan old schools. I was like, I remember the only event my mom would let us go for when we were like young yeah. was Chagolatinis. Yeah. So all those throwbacks were just taking me back to a time where I could just, I could see freedom, but mm. I couldn't have it. Freedom. <laughs> Chagolatinis is, is when that ex of yours took, took your car and then and went yeah. to get yeah. pick up babes. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times exactly. you talk about exactly. Latin music, yeah. Yeah. but yeah, it was a, it was a good night, mm-hmm. and I think. Um, one of the highlights was one minute I'm chilling with Andrew Manga yeah. over there. The next minute I'm like, Manga is on stage. Yeah, he's performing. <laughs> bro. It was such a dope vibe, nice. and then it was just good vibes. And the crew, I, I, I loved the fact that the crowd was just so eclectic. Yeah. Like it was, you know, it's not People when you enter a place everywhere. and you're like, I know everybody. Yeah. Mm. No, I actually I, didn't know anyone apart yeah, from you guys. The so. table, yeah, <laughs> that was a good vibe. So remember, fun the next fun one times. when it comes through, it's going to be even bigger. Yeah, yeah. there's lots of surprises. So mm-hmm. get ready for. Honey episode three mm-hmm. would you think about taking it to the outskirts of Nairobi because yes, so a lot of guys were actually saying that yeah so like, we're going to talk about that okay so we're just okay. waiting for election repeated yeah, hey. because you know I don't want to I don't want to be erecting an event and then the election is, is. <laughs> <coughs> I had to Honestly. I had to I yeah. should have seen that coming. You should have. I should exactly. Have. Like you see you, what she said? You said to touch. I don't want to do erect an event during election because you know just is going to see mm. it coming <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I regret, I regret this Wait, so, so much. So you guys came at the same time? Uh uh-uh. uh. Yes, you, you entered at the same time? Nah. Eh. Nah, me, I don't know what is being discussed here, guys. Me, I don't know what is being discussed here. You need to get your head out to the gutter. Me, me, I don't know. That's that's language guys. is a very interesting thing. English language. Yeah, okay. Now, guys, a lot of comments. I want us to read some comments on the page uh-huh, because uh-huh. Uh, we just get in and we start just talking, which is our thing. Mm. But... Today we are just going to read some comments, some of the ones that have bombarded you. So yeah. just scroll through the okay. YouTube page and then just read um, some of your my favorite comments. Now, last time we were talking about, uh, or rather, you two were talking about milk coming from boobs that I've never even. 
been inseminated. Well, did right. someone even confirm that to Ro? Because you know, there's a babe I've, who wrote. I've, I've yeah. got someone who's who confirmed. Okay, let okay. me read you Jean Wanjiko. Mm. She said hmm. about breastfeeding. I'm 28 weeks in my first pregnancy and I'm leaking already. She leaking. Mm. She's soaking wet. Oh my! <laughs> that song was also good. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. So anyway, she, don't shake them. Don't shake because it. Because if you shake it, they become milkshake. Don't shake. <laughs> <laughs> if you run. My milkshake makes <laughs> I have another question. Ah, if you run, does it come? <laughs> anyway, anyway, so. <laughs> diluted. You know, it's like strong. Milkshake. Uh, and I said, <laughs> could you stop doing that? Anyway, so she says. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't do it. Ah. Anyway, so she says, I'm 28 weeks in my first pregnancy. So she's pregnant mm-hmm. and I'm leaking already, especially when I get full and squeeze mm-hmm. the boobs either voluntarily or not. You need to tell me what voluntarily squeezing them looks like. Why? <laughs> Maybe not. You don't want to know? Okay, yeah. we'll leave it at that. Uh, another comment, which is the most popular comment on the page, like on the Quambooks TV page uh-huh. is Joyce's laughter is infectious. Like wow. a lot of people. You're welcome. And you guys can You're thank welcome. me you because I make her laugh a one, lot. You know? yeah. Like mm. I make her laugh a mm. lot. So mm. um <laughs> Well, you just can't let me you. take a compliment by no, myself. Sis. No, we have to come together. Women in public. Exactly. Uh, another comment, which is a popular one. Mm. I love this trio. Uh, your converse are so relatable. So, Yay, guys, think our converse. Nice. I don't know who is relating with my commentary, but yeah. you should. Like, you think Uji you're the only crazy person out there? You think you're the only crazy person? There are so many crazy? people. Huh? Who said I'm crazy? Tomagina. Who said I'm crazy? Okay. Um, and then also guys always complain that the episodes come out like whenever we care to release a, an episode. I think we They're should we just Sundays. I think you should take you should take this one. Why do the episodes Shomoka are puzzle you? Uh, because <laughs> I'm not the one in control of them. Oh Nijekuwa in control of mm. Nijekuwa Zinatoka. So you, know, since, you want to be given control? Since he has thrown himself out of the bus and let the bus go knocking other people. <laughs> uh, I think um, we, we try as much as possible mm-hmm. when yeah. we do have time to... Because we're all like busy people. You know. Um, so like last week I was... I was you know, events all week. I was yeah. out of town. Yeah. You had events. You Just had to be clear, I'm the one who's never been busy. I'm always available. Oh, really? Um, that's all I'm going to say. I don't even understand you people. I am always because you available. Another episode you spoke about receipts. Just throw people under the I bus. I am Suitoy. Uh, Nigani okay. Nilisem, I'm not available compared to both okay, of you. Okay, Sema, you are not hey, coming. Hey, guys, we saw you in a white dress. Did you happy? Uh, what? Uh, taking photos. That was Saturday. Yeah, that, that, that time she went yes, for to do someone yes, else's yes, event. Yeah. Ah, what was to shoot? You want me to say their, their names? I told you guys I could not shoot last Tuesday. That's the only time I've told you guys. So that's the yes, one you should feel confess that one. But on how, that, we didn't how, how many episodes do we have compared to my non availability? You know, Joyce forgets uh, all no. the time. Yes, I feel like guys are fast forwarding this part. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Okay. The story right. for boobs. So, uh, huh? what did you get? Uh, there's a babe who said her, she's never had a kid, mm-hmm. but uh, her boobs, like she chomas milk. Is that milk? When she's real? happy. Is it milk? Yeah. Has she been pregnant like wrong before? Like wrong Is it milk or she's coming from her boobs? <laughs> Maybe. Ah, because I'm just saying. Like, Has she been pregnant before? How are you no. not lactating? That Ati, is Ati insane. Squeeze nut. That, did she show you? No. Then how are we supposed to believe? Maybe she was pregnant and she didn't know. Uh, I think I believe. How, how do you believe? Time. You didn't ask for a sample? Nah, <laughs> I'm a nice guy. I mean, she said they come out even I'm before without milk, like without being impregnated. I'm That's what I'm saying. Like, uh-uh. you gotta see these things. Okay, I'll, I'll need to I'll need to research more into that because according to how I know the female body, which is something I have, mm-hmm. it's not supposed to work like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now that we've could discussed be an anomaly. Nimekubali, yeah. I don't have it. So yeah. the reason I've called exactly. you guys today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We we keep Thank throwing out. Thank you for asking me how my week was. Yeah, week was good. <laughs> so now, <laughs> <laughs> since you went ahead, after that you think I want to know why you didn't come? I don't want to know. Anywho, to end the story. So um, we've mentioned this a couple of times, and I think it's something that we've said we're always going to talk about. Yeah. Mm. And I think someone wrote it uh, in my DMs. Actually, shout out to the people who DM me. Hey, hey, we're talking about stories. Hey, hey, guys, that that stories. guys usually DM me with so much anger. What? Actually, okay, you look nice, but actually today someone posted and wrote to me and said, okay, you look nice, but, but where is Box Spot? <laughs> <laughs> 
they were so unrelated. Like I was just minding my business, right. saying, "Ooh, oh, wow. shades, wow. sunshine." Wow. So yeah. So then another one wrote to me and said, "You guys have talked about this thing for toxic relationships. Mm-hmm. Now you want to hear those stories. Uh-huh. So guys, are you ready to funguka? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we're going to start with Carrie. Mm. <laughs> how yeah, would you, how you define a toxic relationship? Uh, me first of all, I've been called toxic. I've been told CJ look like a fuck boy. CJ is always in a But okay. you know what? If I didn't know, you'd probably say the same if, thing. Do you know? Even, even, even though I've been, been, been called a fuck girl. Uh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When someone says that, don't deny it. I'm saying if I didn't Kubali, know you, so that, but this is so, someone who does so that, so that the conversation is just there. Because oh, yeah, you, you start saying at you, oh no, I'm not because. Uh, mm. Yeah. And nah, also, so, guys, let me ask you. Do you notice that this? Okay, I was t- I was talking to someone yesterday, uh, before we get into toxicity. Yeah. And I was telling them that I think nowadays relationships are extremely yeah. difficult. Mm. You remember we were talking about that story for social media. Yeah. Mm. Now think about it like this: mm. you're with your person. Mm. Your person is also social media, so they've seen all the memes of those psychological. Like, yeah. oh, if your person is doing this, don't accept this. Yeah. They are gaslighting you. So they're being toxic. So you're having an argument with your person, and they're like, "Excuse me, why are you gaslighting me?" I'm like, right. "Why are you right. doctor killing the shit out of this conversation?" Yeah. So you can't even. Everything you do, they're yeah. psychoanalyzing you. I was talking to someone yesterday and then they're just like, yeah, the reason you behave like this, I'm like, so, excuse me, skip, skip. Mm. do you have a PhD in psychology? Exactly. Mm. And it's just become like, and then you know, no, the worst thing is, even in friendships, like someone is saying, you know, this time when you did this, mm. actually what it made me do, it made me realize Man. that psychologically, <laughs> Uh, analytically, I'm just saying, so like what? guys, we can't continue like this. You know, like that, that it's is, getting because so of quotes worse. on social media mm. and uh, just these two pages that have such motivational ish. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody thinks like they have majored in psychology, mm-hmm. even when you've not. Even Honestly, when you yeah, you clearly, you, like you, you outrightly want to point out things in other people mm. and you've not even looked at yourself can't first. Do yeah. Mm. So you know what? At this point, uh, this is something you were introducing <laughs> to the show. <laughs> this is your question for the for the bo- boxers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hit us up in your in the comments section, yeah. and then we'll read these comments mm. uh, the next episode. Yeah. Tell us, are you experiencing these psychoanalytics in relationships yeah. where I'm someone solicited. you're talking to someone and they're saying, "Oh, you're gaslighting me." Do yeah. you even know what gaslighting me? You know, <laughs> you know. You have never been gaslit for real. One thing I know that's real. a fact: mm-hmm. hurt people, hurt people. Yeah, that's true. That's it. You see. You see what I'm talking about? You're having I, an argument with your boyfriend, then he's like, you know, babe, hurt people, hurt people. I'm like, <laughs> no, what are you trying to say? And then you know the worst part. Well, let me tell you why no, this is let me tell you why this thing pisses me off, mm. right? Because the thing that they're telling you is based off of information you've given them. Yeah. Right? So you've told them, yeah, oh, you know, in my previous relationship, they haven't observed that, that, it for themselves. Mm. And mm. now, as that's soon as you do it, they call it out, and then now they start using previous stuff that you've that told, you them. told them. So it's just it's like crazy. Are you using the stuff that I told you against yeah. me? You know, so hit us up in the comment section. Have That's you been psychoanalyzed flag. by your partner? And you're just like, nah, or you're just like, yes, keep them coming. You're now my psychologist uh, for, free. for free. For free. Psychoanalysis. Mm-hmm. Can't, can't call it that. No finish. No, no, I was just saying, it's, uh. you know, the way there's unsolicited um, nude pics. Mm. Yeah. There's unsolicited psycho. Just you need to talk into your microphone. I have a feeling that oh. they're not going to be needed. Psycho, uh, psychoanalytics. Uh. Okay, sorry. Have Is you, that better? Have you ever received like unsolicited nude pics? Nude pics? No. Are we always going to be talking about nude pics? No, so she I'm just mentioned it, so I'm asking. No, that's the only. That it's it's just as invasive. Ah, okay. You know what I? Yeah. That's what that's what I'm trying to but, I mean, liken it to. Yo, it's just Joyce, as invasive. Yeah. There are some nude pics that are not invasive. Uh, to who? <laughs> Did I ask for them? I'm nah, just bro. telling you. Uh-huh. Sometimes, me, <laughs> if I didn't like, ask for them, don't send them to me. You know, you know like the way I got that phone? Start. Yeah. Like, I didn't ask for it. Yeah. But can I, it was unsolicited. But am I upset? Uh uh-uh. uh. If you didn't, I'm not. If, I'm not. You know, there are those ones you can do. You want to send to Pamela? You're in a relationship. It's not even about relationships. I've just, I've never liked it. Like, if I didn't ask you for, don't send me. Joyce, you haven't seen a nice one. No, I know you see I like to see them in person. <laughs> so next time you see Joyce and you want to send her new pics. Ew, no, don't flash me. <laughs> That's what it's you're called. going to be like, yeah, come I mean, and don't show use you. the flash, just smama to pali kuna likes. That's called flashing, like when you show I someone. I know, I know, I know. Oh, Would you rather they moon you? <laughs> Mooning was such a thing when we were in high school, by the way. What's that? <laughs> that Where you take stupid. off your pants Joyce and just show your, your ass. Buttocks. Yeah. It was very stupid. What I was like, the point? I, I don't know. Cool. What? <laughs> but you did it. I did. But you did it. I did it. Oh my god! I, I think I think people in relationships are more toxic than I was so guys who are not in relationships. Right, so actually, because, before, uh-huh. um, guys in relationships. You think girls are more toxic? No, I'm saying people in relationships oh, okay, uh-huh. are more toxic mm-hmm. than. 
the ones that are not because mm-hmm. tell us Dr. Phil. <laughs> no, I'm not Dr. Phil. Mm. This is my perception. Your analysis, your analysis. Analytics. In relationships, you'd, you'd be toxic and you don't show it. Mm. Yeah. How? Um you having ah mm-hmm. and I say this on my social media. Uh-huh. Oh god. Tell us. <laughs> is it one of your one of scary yeah. quotes? I feel like this one is different for the G spots. This oh, is no, not no, the continuation. No, no, no. It's, one it's one of quotes. those G spot mm-hmm. ones. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not that. Okay. Uh-huh. If you're in a relationship, mm-hmm. your bae is probably thinking about someone else while having sex and they don't tell Yay! you. You know your post. But mm. then what is wrong with you and this toxic no, no, toxic things quality. you post on the social media? New quality. Uh-huh. It's just that if you're in a relationship, you don't say it. So, so you're saying of, your person you is thinking about else. somebody. Because you said that they're thinking about somebody else when you're having sex. Yes. I think that's what you said. Yeah. Hey, have you ever thought about someone else? Okay, now yes, let's just go around the room. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kerry. <laughs> I miss the toxic. Have you ever thought I kind of have, yeah. 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 I kind of you have, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Isn't it messed up though? Yeah. Would you be like, would you be okay? Would you be right. okay knowing that you can you tell your person is thinking about someone else? No, yeah. you can't because you know, yes. again, yeah, you can. if when you're in a toxic relationship, when you're close not the eyes, yes. every time the I close only, my eyes. The only time eyes. you're supposed to be closing your eyes is when you're kissing. You don't kiss with your eyes open. Me, I kiss with my eyes open. Uh, I need to see what I'm kissing. So I mean, for me, I was, I, was, I kiss only hot people. So yeah. now that you like cross I want to see it. <laughs> you know, I want to see it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> my vision adjusts. I put it on auto. Oh my god. Yeah, it focuses itself. I feel like that happens a lot when you're not in the relationship anymore. Like, you yeah. want to leave the relationship, mm-hmm. but you're still there. Mm. Yeah. So you like fantasize about being with That's someone exactly else. That's exactly what toxicity yeah. looks yeah. like. Yeah. You should have not been in this relationship, mm-hmm. but you're in there. Yeah. And Oh my god, let me tell you what. That's talks. why these married people in people's Let DMs. me tell you what. Talks. Yeah, that's I don't true. know about married mm. people because nah, I think being... you can be very toxic in a relationship. Mm. You can be, in fact, the only toxicity I've experienced is inside within a relationship. Mm-hmm. Mm. Not not so much dating. Yeah, I mean, not, not so dating, much. Yeah, just, just someone you casually yeah, see. Yeah. Yeah. And even there, you can be very, very toxic. Yeah, exactly. Let me give you an example of in within a relationship. Mm. So we'll go around mm. and share our toxic situations mm-hmm. in a relationship. Mm-hmm. I'm scared so, of these. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the bee it? loves you. Okay, so you're in a situation with somebody, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like you're in a relationship, and then now okay. let me tell you toxicity one on one. There's someone within their circle that is question marks, question mm-hmm. marks, mm-hmm. question marks, question marks. Like you dating someone, uh. but you're like, who's that? And they're like, oh, no, 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 that's my cousin, that's my friend, that's my, uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. They're not saying that they've had a thing or there's some, you you know how you, you know, can just as a person yeah. when you're dating, mm-hmm. you can immediately tell where your person's past, someone is trying to, yeah. there's an energy because exactly. you're connected with your person. So you can sense the energy being drawn somewhere else. Mm-hmm. And then you're asking your person and they're telling, no, 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 no. Why do you always complain about, about Joyce? <laughs> Joyce is just one of there and then she, as in Joyce ain't going nowhere. And you just say, I just asked. Like, what's up? Yeah, because yeah. you guys are kind of cozy. Yeah. And then now, eventually, right, it, this situation continues to grow. So Joyce is always like, in any party, Joyce is there. Mm-hmm. In any. When I'm not there, she's there. When we call Sana, mm. you're at Joyce's. Yeah. I mean, that toxicity 506. <laughs> but what if, what if you were friends with Joyce before your relationship? That's what I'm saying. Like, that's the toxicity. The fact that then you know. Then why did you just say it? The so fact now that you, you know. Listen, listen. Your friends when no, you get you're not hearing no, what I'm saying. Why did you just say I'm it? I'm telling you that uh, you and Joyce. The beginning. Me, I yeah. don't have a problem with yeah. you and Joyce. If you're just friends, so you have 600 other friends, am I you complaining know? about that? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Am I complaining about the workmates, well, your colleagues? I'm about the one. But Joyce, and the way you're defending her, there's Especially something going on there. Either she likes you, it. or you like her, mm. or something had transpired there, on. or there's some, she, she is like your right-hand man so much mm-hmm. that there's info she gets that I don't get. Fact. And I can sense that, uh-huh. right? And I'm trying to talk to you to ask you, hey, what's going on there? And the first thing you do is say, oh, why are you always asking? Joyce is and... easy. Like, Joyce mm. is just my friend. Mm. And I'm like, the way I see Joyce, she's like, I'll call you. I'm like, guts. Me miss him, Jinga. Mjinga. Akuna Mjinga alibaki Kenya. Let me nah, tell you. And that's, and that's why women usually end up acting crazy. Sometimes. Even men. Yeah. Even men. There the might be nothing yeah. going on. It's just two people that are close. Kerry, you don't understand what I'm talking about? 
You you're not, not, I, I understand what you're talking that's about, but talking it's not about. one-sided. Not There's talking, something else. I'm not talking about the ones that are innocent. Yeah. I'm talking about the ones that I have confirmed okay. for myself. Right. Exactly. Yo, me have been crazy. I even knocked someone's car. <laughs> what? <laughs> On purpose? Yeah. <laughs> what? tell us. Uh, tell us that, please. Tell I'm us that story. I'm trying to tell someone this shit is toxic. As in, I'm, what the fuck is going on here? And then they're just like, nah, 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 nah. my guy. Mm. <laughs> I was given a car to test drive. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not proud of myself. Come on, I was young. Really? <laughs> I was, <laughs> you should not. But be. like, yeah, but like. You can imagine you're making me, you know what it yeah, makes you're making you me think? feel crazy. Like I'm crazy. Yeah. And I'm like, because imagine even if you have several female friends, but for some reason I, I have a problem one. with one. Why is that? Am I am I insane? No, I, I think, not insane. I think now that's your problem. Probably I you don't see, know, toxic might, men one one. What I'm saying I'm is I'm telling you this one and you, there is some energy no, that I'm reading. Those that is ones, even, I have friends no, me that are ones those ones we all have. But <laughs> if you if you have someone in your life who something um, intimate or sexual happened, happened. Okay. and then you're not honest about it from the beginning. And, and then every time I ask I you, in there. You're, yeah, and every time I ask you, you're being defensive. But how do you read it and you don't know if you see, you're not being told? Six Exactly. That's why women have it. No, sometimes never, these six senses you. are wrong. No. Unless you've been told there's something a, no, happened. I tell you, there's a difference okay. between overthinking and a sixth sense. And we're Trust not talking me, about the platonic ones. Yeah. We're talking about where it's mm. a bullseye. I know exactly what I'm exactly. talking about. And you're denying, right? You're making me go crazy. Mm. And I'm just wondering, why are we arguing about this shit? Yeah, and why is it only one person? And then you're yeah. telling me, and yeah. then the worst part is, as soon as you start, and then you know toxic people, mm. my God, as soon as you point it out, mm -hmm. now they want to normalize it, right? So yeah. they're like, yo, Joyce is easy. In fact, I'm going to hang out with her today. <laughs> It sounds like this has happened to you a lot, honestly. Me, all I'm going to say is, in such scenarios, as soon as I smell get something that's weird, get I out. Get out. You, know, you get out. You get out. You get out. No, I'm saying, still, I get out. Still in your shit. I'm out. I'm out. Guys, I'm out. Nothing is tip tough. I'm my blood. Jesus Christ. I'm not too quelly. I'm not going to be a guy. As women, we need to trust that six <laughs> and small. Guys, I'm not proud of myself. And it was, a, I can't, if I say the, the details of the car, hey, the person who was on Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go and tell them it was an accident? It was. A, <laughs> I did it so slickly, it looked like an accident. It was a brand new Moti, guys. Oh this Moti is more than 20 million. I think the more you talk about it, the more like they connect the dots. Yeah. But you think I can? Ah. It's not like you're talking to them anyway. <laughs> At so that point in time, <laughs> it they just matter. need to deal with the person. Ah, guys, like listen, we're not proud of the stuff we did, but yeah. What, what, if, what if you throw a fit because of your sixth sense, and then later on you get to find out that actually these two they were just friends, nothing happened. What is wrong with so you? you? Know, like, you we're talking like about the toxic ones only. No, I'm saying if 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 your sixth sense is checking is actually finding receipts and evidence fine yeah but if it's at yaka feeling because i they have to your feelings are always right are let me tell long. you uh, bro uh, it's not about it let me tell you there's a difference between an insecurity <laughs> there's a difference between an insecurity you you and a sixth sense <laughs> yes okay can you so never your sensed, insecurities are coming you've out sensed when your pal was over there in the boardroom bedroom of the hotel yeah. being limited <laughs> yeah. yeah did you know yeah I did. you sensed it right no i had receipts exactly but so either way so I, how did you find the receipts see a friend of theirs told me yeah. open your eyes like you know this oh, so you like, like, so you, like, okay. right. dead, yeah, me. Dead. you need to find a glass for the <laughs> optical one time <laughs> i know shit <laughs> so now when i, I was did. told I checked her phone, got to find out, and then I was like, ah, okay, so now this is what is yeah. going on. Ah, so okay. me, I don't, need a, I don't need a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Optica. <laughs> I am my friend. That's I'm, you, I'm just telling you. You women, might be wrong. Women just have a way of knowing these things. You Even should ask me, was I wrong? Sometimes he'll kiss you and I'm like, that kiss felt <laughs> different for some weird reason. I swear. I mean, not, like not just imagine. I'm like, he's not holding the hand. Not just nanny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I, so it just... Easy, material. we pick up on energies. <laughs> we pick up on energies very easily, and for so long we've yeah. been taught that we are crazy. Yeah. But it's just it's an ability that we have yeah. as women. You see, when men are physically strong, mm. women are mentally strong. Have you ever I seen, have you ever have seen have your parents success. cuddle yeah. on the couch? Huh? Huh? Have you ever seen your parents cuddle on the couch? No. no. They used to do it in the past. So now the fact that 
they don't do it anymore. Does that mean something has your mind? Like, what are you talking about? No, because you said when, Joyce, when, Joyce, when Joyce. habits change. Ignore him. No, you said when habits change. Between me and my person, not other Why people I'm looking at. No, you? but between me and my person, but you could, someone you probably I probably you're with together for day. quite a while with Mezoyana. He's like, today I just want to chill by myself. You're no, like, babe, why don't you, you want to cuddle this? Because yourself. there's someone else. Again. There's the one for wanting to chill by yourself and then there's something that's off. Yes. Because you want something to chill off. by yourself. Like, you know, let me tell you something. You never understand. You know, like, me. You hold never on, hold understand. Okay. Me, I've been on the other side of stuff. Mm. Now the toxic one, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, like, that time you've just traumatized from Doing the doing stuff you're not supposed you're not to do. Doing. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Don't think too deep. I didn't go too deep. <laughs> <laughs> so. And why so, are you defending this mini so, so yeah, much? Let, are you let, let, me explain, yeah. let me explain to you. Okay, where Kerry is coming from. Uh, you, you know, you can only understand as the, as yeah, the perpetrator. Yeah, as the, uh, so. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. Exactly. exactly. As, the, as the toxicity. So you're so strongly yeah. about this. Why? I'm yeah. toxic. So. You've chomokered from, like, now maybe you've met that person and then, you know, maybe you flattered mm. and then then when you're living there, you, your senses come to you and you're like, what the fuck was that doing? Yeah. Shit. And then you now, you drive home, you get there and you're being met by your person. And then you're being met, by your, yourself, you you're being met by your person. Yeah, yeah. But you see now, whatever's going on in your head, mm. they can read it. Uh-huh. <laughs> right? So you, now you're trying to be like sleek. You're like, let me think of hip hop. Wow, girl, make me. <laughs> <laughs> so I cannot see what's happening inside my head. I did you throw them off. And the first thing they're like, something's what's off. What's going on with you? Hey. And see? you're just like, that, you see now that, now you're scrambling because you're just like, shit, did someone text them? <laughs> Do they know? Am I smelling of of flatty yeah, yeah. Like, did, did I get know, like some cold and so you know, on me? Yeah. can be red unless you're like I, I don't know a stone right? and you're, if your person knows you if you did something that night unless you're a master and there are people who are masters by yeah, the way so shout out to the masters out yeah, there those guys have masters to the art because <laughs> <Sasa, laughs> that line will be long uh, <laughs> samosa and aspartame discount Sasa. <laughs> <laughs> so those people, them, they are masters. They mm-hmm. can go and do whatever and you will not even sense it. Exactly. But if you know your person, and especially if you've been real, and then now you've just been derailed for like you a split know? second, your person can read that your energy has. Because it's not easy to just come from that high, intense, hey, and this flirtation like is good. Being, and then you come must be a and continue yeah. that energy straight at you and give Joyce exactly what Bro. she wants. She's going to read something is off. Maybe it's your strokes. Maybe it's the way you're kissing her. Because your ma- mind is... Not there. Is somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. Right? You know the way you're saying, Ati, have you ever thought of someone yeah. doing sex? Yeah. Now that shit. When you think you'll fungat, ah, let me put her back in the cabinet. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no! She's just over there saying, Carrie, do you want me? Oh my God. Do you want your girlfriend? Oh. And that time your girlfriend is like, baby, you see what I've done for you? <laughs> that time you're like, which titties am I looking at right now? <laughs> I see four titties. Oh, you know? no. She can read all that shit. But she then, can read again, all that shit. Is, I feel like this is always going to be a foreign subject to men because men. Just you need to you figure know? out how to talk inside the microphone oh, like that. Yeah. Is it? There. Yeah, again, it's going to be a foreign language to men forever because. Why? Men, I just, I don't know what's wrong with you guys. Is it because you use one side of your brain? Wait, wait, you know, wait, you wait, know wait, what? Wait, that's Kerry. Nah. That's Kerry. <laughs> Kerry doesn't represent every guy. Okay. Let me guys. ask. <laughs> Gilly, have you ever, have <laughs> ever sensed your person is cheating? You oh, said, yeah. yeah. This guy told okay. This guy told his friends, he needs a glass for that third eye so as you can see. What, what, I'm what I'm saying is, yeah. unless you've got proof, sometimes you might be in over yourself. Like, your person you think, could not be cheating, you think but we'll cooperate too. Cheating, cheating ah. after we flat, how can you prove this person was flatting you physically know? like this? How? You have to get them. You have to get them. And you see, like, now me being on the other side, I was God God. <laughs> yeah, you were God God. I was God God. They figured it out. I denied. Oh I denied, I denied, I denied. And then what ended up happening? This festered into the biggest cancer of a toxicity. What? Because now I have to keep defending that I didn't do this. Hmm. Right? And I just wish I'd just come out and said, I don't know what happened, but I didn't take it too far, and I'm sorry. Right? And then we deal with that. Although, which is a whole other Pandora's box. Now your whole life are just apologizing for that shit. I just took that road and I decided, you know what? I'm going this way and I'm going to stick with it. And that shit ate me up. Eventually I had to, like, the relationship exploded. Mm. And I'm lucky to be a survivor. So I don't know, I don't know if this makes me toxic, but 
Yes. I've done something I should not have done when I was in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And they never found out. But did you deny? They never found out. Like that, that's today, not toxic. Like to the day we broke nah, up. No, it is toxic. Yeah, it oh, is yeah, toxic. Yeah, because yeah, like you, you were just in that relationship with it through and through. Is cheating okay? It was It was like a one time Is cheating thing. okay? No, it's no, not. No, it's not. It, <laughs> you, it's you not. have the moral authority. No, it's not. <laughs> I, was, I was young, okay? <laughs> I didn't, feel, I didn't feel good about it, but I wasn't gonna tell on myself. Were you above 18? Me, those people were you above 18? Like, yeah, I was above 18, yeah. obviously. Ah, Jesus says, unless you're living in your past. Okay, fine, it was, it was my first relationship. You cheated? Yeah. Your first relationship? Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you keep it me, I cheated my first one. Yeah. The first relationship is the one for no, you hung up, you hung up. You yeah. cheated on that one. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, like, because we were like, me, oh, me this we are Guy, <laughs> maybe we're like a year and a half. Maybe it was like and, 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 and I'm not trying to defend. The one where it. you just hold hands and that's it. And okay, like I'm not trying to defend. Okay, uh, my first just relationship. Just tell us what you did. Tell us what you did. My first you held another boy's hand. I was maybe 23. Like it oh, yeah. took me a very long time just to like. Just a late bloomer. Very late. Not physical. Late. Physical. She was a uh, early bloomer. Why are you speaking for me? Are you my first person? Okay, okay. Thank you. Anyway, so back then I wasn't um, very good at expressing my emotions or like when I was unhappy and instead of having a conversation with him about it, I tried to escape my problems and ended up sleeping with someone. Okay. I like how she's explained it. Me, I was just like... It's not me. I'm not proud I mean, of it. I'm not proud of it. And then I'm cheating. Did it happen, did it happen more than once? No, but the second time. Yeah, yeah, the way you thought about it. No, no, no. The second time. No. no. That is exactly the definition of more than once. By the time it happened the second time, <laughs> this other relationship was over. <laughs> hey. No. But you know, I have to be honest. I'm so proud of you. I like the fact that you're being open about it. Because, like, these are things that you do, and you've kept quiet for so long yeah. I, it becomes like your dirty little stain yeah, somewhere yeah. like my my two little secrets i'm glad they're mm. coming out yeah, yeah. Me, me i wasn't at as dini as you i think i'm a, I me, I just, a serial killer i fell in love with somebody else like and that's usually my problem like i can no, be in a relationship I and fall i fall in love. in love with somebody else me, i was just like i want to forget you my problems in a, in a relationship yeah it has happened like three times so why don't you ever leave this other relationship try <laughs> <laughs> Try. I left and yeah. it wasn't even But you love. cheated. No, but it wasn't even but love, you cheated. man. But you cheated. I think that's what woke me up and Yo. I was like, if I can do this to him, then clearly I'm, I don't need to be in this relationship no, anymore. I've, I've been a in. serial cheater. In a relationship. In a relationship. Oh, yeah. God. Why? In one relationship? Yeah, in one Dang. relationship. Nah. The previous one. The one nah. Oh, okay. Nah. Bet you and I was one. like so proud of it <laughs> because I was toxic even to myself because I okay. was doing it. Mm -hmm. I was cheating for revenge. That's for the And then she just kept doing it. You're just May, hurting yourself. But yeah. the revenge, you, you needed to revenge how many times? You gotta do it to revenge. You know, after... <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Wow. After you get to find out that she she been doing it yeah. a couple of times, uh -huh. then you also, God, and you're like, yeah. so if you can do tats. that, yeah, I'll also be doing this. No, it's tit for tit. Tit for tit. Tit for us. <laughs> It for it. Do you know actually so you know, a relationship wrong. that lasted nine years like that? Like this girl was like super loyal and everything, and then she cheated once, and then he cheated, and then she cheated again. They were together for nine years. You see that? That's yeah. what you call toxic stew. Bro. Mutawana. I swear, they'd have killed each you other. You need to leave. Guys, mm. when, when when shit gets toxic, like you yeah. in that scenario, let's go back to your scenario. Mm. So you're in a situation where you find out she's cheated and you're being loyal, mm. right? And mm. it hurt you. Yeah. And so your response was revenge. Cheat. I'm a go out there. I'm a revenge fuck. I started right? with your friend. Hey. That was bad. <laughs> and this is not even the sister you told us. <laughs> These are different ones. <laughs> like, oh, like, but like, no. when you were doing that, let's, let's talk about when you were doing. How did you feel when you were doing now there? You know very well how she was doing it for her. Mm. How she was just being selfish. Now you, you've already analyzed. You're selfish, and so you know what? I'm also selfish. Yeah. And then how did it make you feel? When you're going out there to have sex with all this or cheat on her, mm. for revenge. did you, were you feeling good about yourself after? Uh, first few times it was good. And then, hey. <laughs> now I'm being honest. The first, first few, few times being with different women, not the same person several with times. With her best friend. <laughs> no, answer the question. No, the best friend one was weird. Mm -hmm. So, so Ish. Several, Ish. Several, <laughs> the first several times. Okay. Let me ask you, which best friend are these? I don't, right? Any people are, hey! 
crazy. People are crazy this out here. Yeah. Anyway, like, I hope it's only cows that are watching this podcast. I mean, if, <laughs> if, human if, beings, people, I... if people cheat on their partners mm. and if you're in a relationship with someone, you call them your best friend. Mm. So what's what's a friendship that doesn't involve sex or relationships? See, I'm asking. Why I'm asking oh. is now, you see, <laughs> friends, especially males, <laughs> no, right? It's true. Jo- Joyce, I'm sure you tell your friend about like your relationship. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, you know, <laughs> you don't listen to Kerry's stories. Why are you telling your friend? Don't. <laughs> Your friend is going to be the next in line. Yeah. She knows everything. They'll be like, right? oh, so now, he, that's what I'm asking. he did what? Wow. So now, Joyce, you've well, been telling me two, everything two about your... Clo- actually, both of the friends that I tell these things are very happily married. Yo, that doesn't mean nothing. And one of them, I've been friends with them for 16 years. So <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Excuse if you me? guys have been done dirty by your friends, please don't bring me into it. Thank is you. you. The married something? ones are the ones you Thank need you. to be scared uh, of. You can tell Thank me you. nothing. There's nothing like marriage. I, I, can't, <laughs> tell, I can't tell you something because it's you a relationship that has been there for years. I'm asking, right? Uh, okay, so Joyce is telling me about you, right? Okay. As her boyfriend, yeah. right? Me, I'm there listening. Mm. Then the next thing, you, you come to me, you're like, hey, you know what? You know, nini, nini. Then I'm, I'm like, stress. actually, and then you remember actually, there. You, you know, I know about your strokes. Don't worry, I'll do it just like her. Like, how do you take your friend's person? How, how? I, I don't think, understand. I think there's some I think for me, um, that it's, it's, you know, it got to a point mm. that even in that relationship, mm. I was not intimate, or we were not intimate. Was in this the, the one where you were not intimate for three to yeah. ten years? Yeah. Anyway, continue. You were saying yeah. the first few Yo, times. We were you see how people yeah. don't think before they add. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so dead. Hey. Okay. So you were saying the first few times. Was it with the same person, or was it different women? Uh it was with different people. Damn. And those you felt. Look about market, Kabisa. Yeah, like because you know because you're doing it for revenge. And uh, you know how hurt you are when you found out mm-hmm. that you're being cheated on. At yeah. this point, as you're doing all that, so you're still hurting. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. still hurting. Mm. But now, deep down, you think that that now that is supposed to like help make you. Make you feel better. Yeah, make you yeah. feel better. Did it make you feel better? Um, eventually, no. So, how when did you feel after all that? Yeah. Uh, after all that, I felt like first of all, I put myself at risk mm. uh, by you know just sleeping around, mm. mm-hmm. and uh, also. It didn't do anything to actually better the relationship. Yeah, it just got so, worse. Yeah, and I got to realize Damn. what I should have done first was walk Bounce, out, yeah. um, give myself that space. Mm-hmm. To and deal then, with it. Yeah, yeah, to deal with and process like whatever has happened. Yeah. Instead of just jumping to, the you next. know, revenge. Yeah. Because yeah. in the end, it just ended up hurting me. Mm-hmm. Hurt so, people, hurt people. Guys, man. ask J- Jordan Dr. B. Field, B. Right? Yeah. Jordan B. Michael B. Michael Jordan. B. Jordan. Hey, I, Michael Jordan B. B. I say things backwards. I say things backwards. I'm starting with his son. Okay, so we're Kenyans. Mm. You're not called Joyce Minor, you're called Minor Joyce. His dad is actually called Michael A. Jordan. Really? Yeah. So I hope he has a child and called him Michael C. Jordan. What is his child called C? Oh my god. <laughs> no, he doesn't have a child, but I hope when he gets one, he's called Michael. Michael A. Jordan. Yeah. As in Wait. A for A. No, obviously I think it's Arnold or oh, Arnold or whatever. I was just going to be like, and he's but, Michael yeah. B. Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. So his grandpaps is Michael the Jordan. <laughs> Wait, is his grandpaps Michael <laughs> Jordan? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. and he actually gets a. that question. But see, why I no. asked you that question is that you see people do that, right? Yeah. Now let's talk about the people you are doing that with. Right, who mm. are meeting you? Then they don't know you're on a revenge mission. Mm. Yeah. Then they are like, oh, here's a cool, nice guy. Let's have a good time. Let's have a good time. Whom be you're going to inject your toxicity inside them? I mean, I don't know whether how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> As you you go in there, eh? inject. inject eh? You the inject. It's the language. It's the ah, language. Okay. It's just mm. the language. It's a new you need to get your head out of the gutter. Okay, so yeah, so like those 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 girls you are meeting. Yeah. Did you meet anyone who was like they liked you and they wanted to be in a relationship? Uh Yes. You see what you see but how toxicity not, spreads. You are not looking for because that was yeah, not clear. Yeah. Treated for like that. Yeah. I'm sure she went and now did dirty to somebody. To, some, to somebody yeah. else. Yeah, and that's. And I'm not proud of it. It happened. Yeah. I think I had to do that for me to uh, actually get to know that I don't have to stick in a relationship. Yeah. Uh, thinking that this is all I have. Mm. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, I was better. I, I, not better. I was okay when I was by myself. Mm. So even if you walk out, yeah. you will still be fine, no yeah. matter the situation. Yeah. 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 But even you know, but in that space, it's easier said than done. Mm. Like guys, yeah. I feel like for me, when I was in my toxic space, even my self worth died, and which is what you were talking it about. It does. It um, does. 
where you are going out and just doing it, doing it, doing it. And really, like, there's not no value adding to yourself. So if you look at yourself at that point, you you don't value yourself. Yeah. Mm. And for me, that's what happened. Like, I didn't value myself. I, I didn't sleep around, luckily for me. Mm-hmm. What I decided to do was I met somebody because that night I was just like, you know what? I'm out. out. Them, wait. Then I met someone that night yeah. and then they kind of like jumped the gun <laughs> and they were inside that relationship. With and you. I was like, me, I'm not inside that relationship. <laughs> <laughs> so, what? and I heard them, yeah, right? Okay. What? And so, yes, because I was not yeah. in the right yeah. frame of mind. Mm. I just come out of a years of toxicity mm. so by the time now I, I saw that scenario i just had to be responsible mm. and the only person i could be responsible for was myself yeah. so i picked myself up and i went to celebrate for a whole year yeah that really helps yeah but that, that was the that really makes, it makes i needed a to cut off, I needed to cut off that person's spirits from me Mazik. and their energy, you believe like, in soul ties patch them yeah patch you believe them in soul ties. your system yeah. yeah i needed to do the soul ties and even now till today yeah i'm still doing those soul ties yeah for that particular person oh, wow yeah because yeah. yeah, even some of my biggest breakthroughs like emotionally have happened after i've stopped being intimate with anyone mm. like i'm not even entertaining the idea yeah. of like flirting with someone it's just me and my thoughts and figuring out that's but your thoughts I've are also oh the like best. thoughts yeah <laughs> <laughs> can't have a serious All moment right. can't have a serious moment on, this, but this, yeah that's that's how it's happened for me you uh i don't understand how uh you could uh when you choose to be celibate <laughs> so do you like we can't expire date and you say okay so i'm gonna do one year yep. It just or, goes. It just or starts. It's, it's just you're it in just a space. Stops. You're in a space where you just don't feel like having. Sex. Yeah, you're saying what? You're in a three year celibate okay, relationship. Okay, I know. <laughs> you know he how wasn't it started. Celibate? No, but like, see, he wasn't <laughs> inside his relationship. He was celibate, <laughs> right? But he was. That doesn't count. No, no but I've had to those. I've had those. Stop. Stop. Yeah, I've yeah. had those phases where you feel like you just don't want to have sex. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why though? Why I've, though? Why though? Um, because okay, for me from uh, my my recent relationship my recent breakup mm-hmm. i think i was in a space where i felt like i had already done the whole oh at, if you're in a relationship and then you break up with someone you like for you to get over someone you have to get over someone else yeah, yeah. Someone, yeah. Yeah. Like, under, this guy is a top guy at you to get over you get over another one <laughs> we okay, see I where meant, you are you are a top guy i we met, see you. I met what? under <laughs> no 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 we, we know unders unders usually no, say sometimes under. you okay, bottoms okay i'm digressing <laughs> <laughs> so digressing? the previous one um that one hit different mm-hmm. for me to actually go to therapy <laughs> yeah like i felt like i had i was in a space where everything i tried mm. did not work out mm. went into depression mm. um felt like a failure mm. so i didn't even see my find myself attractive yeah couldn't couldn't go to the gym yeah what um, do you love the gym and yeah. train us you no he loved the gym for one minute <laughs> Sorry, uh-huh. I counted. So, so therapy really helped, mm-hmm. and I think through that I got to be able to know how to just heal by myself mm-hmm. without having any outside a shoulder influence. To lean, yeah. on, lean on or yeah. a bosom to. Yeah. Uh, did you just? Did you? Nothing. Um, you know, I'm not even <laughs> going to repeat what I think you just did, Kerry. I'm not going to do it. So the question I have for you guys is. <laughs> How do you stay in toxic situations for so long? Because I've been in maybe one or two, but it's never lasted more than a year. I come to my senses very quickly. Mm-hmm. Like, very quickly. It takes you 365 plus days to get to your you senses quickly. You were in those three, three years. This one, no, two years. This one was three years. I'm mm-hmm. like, how do you guys do it for that? Look, me, at Because some point, I just come to my senses. I'm like, nah, It depends man. on how you deep in love you are. Yeah. Yeah, it depends yeah, I wasn't on, that in love. Yes, if you are inside, I like I was. me, I was, I, we were basically, what is it? What is, we were using the same skin. Okay, explain it. please. You get it. Right? Explain, yeah. You know please. the person I'm talking about. Yeah. We were literally there. You the know, same. Hey. Amuko. Baka tuna fanana. Tuna fanana. Mad. Right? Love like it, it just and, and to be honest like if I'm if I'm genuinely being honest, I don't think that the love ended. Mm-hmm. I just think it was derailed so badly yeah. Yeah. that we couldn't find ourselves back to the 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 good place. Yeah. yeah. And 
We tried cancelling. Mm-hmm. I told you guys it was a mess. It was a disaster. It was a disaster. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ended up being open mm. as in Unnecessarily. spiritually. Mm. And no one was open. thinking anything I else, Chilla. I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Something is wrong with me, yeah? It, it, there is. <laughs> you, you need therapy. Leave yeah. Anyway, we all do. So, yeah, I went for that therapy. Yeah. Oh my God, it was terrible. I felt open. But you see, in that space, it's not that I didn't love the person. Yeah. Mm. And the hope is that we're going to get past this. We're mm, going to get past we'll this. We'll figure it out. Until you realize you've gone so far. Becca, you're asking, are we still trying to go past this? I'm a, now we're heading <laughs> to go another side direction. Side. Yeah. You know, and at this point now, you don't even recognize each other. Now mm. it's just like things are going haywire. Yeah. And so for me to even make that decision, like tonight, tonight, I'm going to find somebody else yeah. oh, God. to consummate the end of the relationship. Yeah. And that's exactly what had to happen. Yeah. So you actually found Another, someone to consummate the end of the relationship. Yeah, you didn't just leave. See, no, as in, I knew if I go mm. and I just leave amicably, like I don't like You'll play come around. Back, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'm at the house. Come over. <laughs> no. No. I don't want that. <laughs> so that's how. That's what needed to happen. So for the question you're asking, mm. how did you manage to say that long? It's because you're hoping that changes we, yeah. we we get to the good place because the good a, i don't hate you mm. we're just having a really terrible face i just didn't know that the good face had ended now it was just bad yeah, yeah. you're trying to get another, back to a place that thing, doesn't exist like, another all. thing that would make uh, people to like stay in a toxic uh, relationship mm-hmm. is uh, probably maybe you're you're thinking what that relationship brings apart from being together yeah. uh, probably you've got kids mm. it's financial security mm. or we just took up a mortgage so let me just stay especially when kids are involved people do tend to stay longer that makes sense or sometimes at or we already did the ratio we already got married so now we are are here to stay we have to make it work it becomes harder it becomes harder trust me it becomes harder it's harder to walk away from a relationship Mm -hmm. that you don't have strings like for me I think one of my key things is have you ever shared finances with anyone Mm. you no like I see, yeah. How do you even start that conversation? No. Like, where do you start? Like, yeah. babe, so now because I've been staying here every day, I'm going to pay half Let's the rent. Let's open a joint bank account. Already for me, I start feeling stifled. I'm just like, yeah. now this person is marrying me. No, I think, you know, and I think it starts. What if I want to break up? It starts from just being honest on how much you make. <laughs> okay, yeah. Those, those conversations <laughs> are. Let me tell you, those conversations are harder <laughs> to have, but they are, mm. it's easier when you do it. Have you had a conversation with a person about how much you make? Yes, yeah, I no, have. Yes, yeah, yes, no, I have. Yeah. Yes, so they know have. all that you are worth. Not everything, <laughs> but like when, it, when it comes to when it comes to chipping in for things, I yeah. let you know this is my limit. Like oh, yeah, that's, that's, not, that's, nah, that's not, not it. it. That's because not what that's not what's it. Girl? That's it, the opposite of what we're asking. We're asking, like you're with your person, and you're like the, your yeah. person knows. Musha musha, ding, party came in your account. Yeah, just and just doesn't make that. She makes like thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> Tanzania. Like they have to know what's what's in your bank account, what's coming. Yes. Mm. Yeah. What have you ever had that conversation with anyone? No. Yo, me with my small age. It's actually yeah. It's actually it's it's a hard conversation to have. I don't know why. How do you have a conversation? How what what, is what part is there like, oh babe? I was good. I can imagine I need fifty (laughs) K. (laughs) What? How do you have that when at what point? Oh at what point? Yeah, at what point do you have that Uh, conversation? I guess when you move in together. I think <laughs> you, okay, you okay. moved in with someone. When you're, I talking, think, you moved I think, in with someone. when you're talking about moving in together, yeah, those are conversations that together, you should have. Talk about that. Yeah. Like my person has stayed in my house. Yeah. I stayed in the house. Yeah. But we have never moved in together. Oh, you stay in each other's houses a lot. Yes. You know, like you stay in one house. More I, I feel than like I need that security house. of like yeah. now get the fuck out. I have out. my place here. Yeah. Yeah, I need that security. Like now I need to breathe. Yeah. Tomorrow I don't need to yeah. I mean I can have the full conversation, but like when it comes to like maybe like a paycheck, I'll be like, Okay, so I have this job for Nini and this is how much I'm getting, this is what I want that's, to do with this. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good start. I don't tell them everything at Kunaina and Kunaina and Kunai. No, I'll just tell you Kunai job Nairobi Street Kitchen when I deliver this much and this is what I want to do with it. I've never had that conversation. I don't know, I find like I find like money sacred. No, yeah. Yeah. I think so, it's just better if you're if honest you wanna, about if, it. If, if you want to be with someone, then most probably you at least yeah, you should have that you conversation. You had the conversation about money. Where yeah. is that person? Is, we are still dating. Mm. 
the one you're having now. Yes. Oh, that's the conversation. Yes. I'm talking about your previous, <laughs> you, your previous. Where are you now? Mm. So me, I'm not trying to open up and then now someone goes like, and then, and then that's okay. me like, that baby only has five months. <laughs> <laughs> that's my secret. Yeah. That's my secret. Yeah. 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 Yeah
and we said we're so proud of her. Yeah, proud of her. Yeah, thank proud you, of her. thank no, you. Not for sleeping around. Okay, well, the last, <laughs> the last toxic relationship had so many things. I don't even know where to begin. There, there we go. Yeah. I know it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you can call me opener okay so um this guy had come out of a relationship with a narcissist which should have been my first red flag but no i had to fix him because that's what i do i fix people so he used to have like some of the weirdest insecurities i've ever had in a relationship you know the way someone can be like oh you know in the past you know she used to tell me she's going where kumbe she's sleeping with someone blah 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 so even when i'm going i, I first of all because i know i have a lot of male, male friends i made i made sure they've met like they know each other i'm not hiding anything from you i've never slept with any of these people so whenever i'm going out with them i used to like even call him to be like oh i'm going out with abcd this is where we're going and then he'd get upset because I'm calling him when I'm having a good time. I'm like, but you just said before, like they she never even used to tell you where she's really going. Me, I'm being transparent and honest with you. There's another time he got pissed at me because I went on a lunch date again with someone I have talked about, someone he's met. Next time just be calling it lunch. Don't I call swear. it lunch. Date. Yeah, lunch date. <laughs> whatever, that, whatever that because I didn't tell him it was a lunch date. I literally went for that thing and by the time I was going home to call him, he was like, I can't believe this me is they changed to jack my my food by force. And is the bee behind me and you're not telling me. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. It's it's going. Scary. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Gangster points lost. <laughs> it's okay. Were you stuck by B when you were doing? Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. You were yeah. yeah. Yeah, so after I went uh, for that lunch date, um, he called me and was like, how can you be out there having drinks when me have had a bad day? You know, my auntie is sick. I'm like, first of all, you told we were supposed to go out. And I even cancelled these plans because you were like, oh, my mom needs me to take her to see her sister. She's not feeling well. So like, I'm sorry to cancel. I mean, you know what? It's fine. I was supposed to meet with ABCD today anyway. So I think I'll go for that. So after I've gone for that thing, even when I sat down, I texted him. I told him, I'm here. I remember I told you, blah, blah, blah. When I'm going home, I'm calling him. He starts telling me, oh, how can you be out there having a good time when you know my auntie is sick, blah, blah, blah. And then he told me to lose his number. So what? we didn't talk for like three days. It was like constant. We'd get back together. Something happens. We break up for like a week. We talk again. So like it was so like there's even a time because he was like, oh, you know, um i don't deserve you you're too good to me you're too good for me blah 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 so we decided now it's over like for real for real because i mean you know what because i know how this will end i'm just letting you know me i'm, I'm just going to have to block you so that this doesn't happen again it Damn. became a problem now i don't talk to him Damn. i don't i don't we don't you don't want to be my friend because i broke up with you i was like we need to normalize. Was probably, was we need to normalize. What happened in the previous he really was. He what really was. Normalize therapy. And I don't, yeah. I don't yeah. know why I stayed. Because looking back at it, I didn't love him. I loved the idea of him. Mm. But like, even when I look back at my behaviors, I'm a very affectionate person. But he used yeah. to tell me things like, oh my God, sometimes I feel like we've been dating for 10 years. Don't like holding my hand. Don't like kissing me. So clearly, Because everything. you're whining. No, not even whining. I think, you know the way your body and your spirit know something is off? Mm. I just didn't realize it then. Because if I look back at my behaviors, I'm like, that's not how I behave with boyfriends. I'm yeah. all over there. Yeah. You know, I can't stop talking you, to But them. let me ask you a question. Nini, um, In that scenario, yeah. right, this guy is clearly hard from his Someone past else, experiences, exactly. right? Yeah. And you mm -hmm. are now adjusting yourself mm -hmm. yeah, to, to accommodate him, yeah. his insecurities. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what I was looking for, insecurities. Yeah. Like, <laughs> actually, it even got, I, like, I can't even believe I actually got to a point where I told him, Ati, Ati, please don't leave me, we can fix it. I'm so disgusted by myself. <laughs> I'm so disgusted. <laughs> Let me, okay, you know what? To make you feel better, I'm so I also disgusted. told someone, I'm so please disgusted. don't leave me. Uh, like, we've all said it. I think about oh, it. Yeah. You know, but me, I said it like a cool babe. Me, of course, I, said, I didn't baby, say it baby, as a cool babe. Please, please. You think I've never met before? It was my first time. <laughs> you got me and I die. Oh, mama. Oh, my God. I've tried unpacking while she's packing. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think we need a drink for this part. Yeah, like, so heartbreaks are so trash. They are so trash. I'm so disgusted that, that you feel like at that moment when the person is leaving, you feel like, oh my God, yeah. I won't be able to. Mm. What am I? Like, let me tell and you. And then you know, I jumped into a, into a this, relationship this, immediately after that whole situation was over. Clearly, this is not someone is this, I was. Is this afraid a sign that your person is cheating? Huh? If is this a sign that your person is cheating? Huh? If um, they told you they're going out, and you know where they're going, mm. you, then you go there. They're not there. No, 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 no. Um, and then they probably go, uh, they're having fun. Randomly, like 3 a.m., they text you, I love you so much. 
I see the become see money. Plan. I sorry. Uh, eh? I see the money. They become. You. Uh, it's become. They become money. I think even Siri has answered. Hey, <laughs> Siri is like. <laughs> you know, they give me a, a, like the uh, honey. Four a.m. I had to cut myself out of this place. Is this something that usually happens? If I take someone, I love you. Because that could be. No, is it something that usually happens? Shit. No, no, that could be. They did some shit. Because you know what? if I know where you're could going you and I know what time you come back. Huh? You could you please unpack this with your therapist? Because and this is a key thing I've gotten from Joyce's yeah. story, right? And from yours, yeah. right? And also from mine. Mm-hmm. As we wind up, right? So let's use Joyce's story as mm-hmm. an example and then you're second. Mm-hmm. So Joyce, this person she was dating mm-hmm. was like when you're when you're meeting your person, you should be meeting at you sort yourself, level, you've sorted yeah, yourself out, yeah, right? Yeah. And this is like from the beginning of the relationship, yep. this is how they're behaving. Yep. Automatically you can tell that they're projecting what they've experienced. Mm-hmm on her mm-hmm. and now they're trying to hold her yeah. stifle her to a point she's like yo me I can't handle this you're mm-hmm. becoming right? the person you broke up with yours yeah yours now is before now this was the relationship this person had before yeah. mm-hmm. which is the person was treating them in charge they were they were lying mm-hmm. that, that. and because of that it left you injured yeah. yeah why do I say it left you injured mm. because now you're like if someone texts you at 3 a.m. telling you I love you, mm. let's unpack that from someone who's normal. Yeah. yeah if your I'll person like, texts you at 3 a.m. they love you, yeah. say, oh, that they're out there and they're still thinking about you. Yeah. Yeah. But you see now, because you've be experienced some mm. fuck shit, mm. you, you take it like, they've done something. You're feeling and guilty. And to be honest, they've for the longest something. time, that was yeah. me. Yeah. 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 For the longest time, mm. and even till now, like I was saying, like I'm still slowly unpacking. Mm. Like for me, just you well, could be just talking projecting. to me, telling me all sorts of things, mm. right? But me, I'm reading the fine line. Yeah, mm. like, why are you telling me this now? Yes. Is so me, I'm like, done? <laughs> wait, that action plus this word uh, plus this is equals. equal. So while you're telling me, babe, and then drrr, me, I'm like, it's apa. equals. Mm. So your equals and mine are not on the same page. Mm-hmm. That automatically should tell me that, eh, hey, Jesus, you already seeing, you already have a microscope that you see everything through. Yeah. So every experience that's happening in your relationship, you're pulling it to see it under this microscope. Does it fit all the things that I know? Ah, this person is cheating. Exactly, okay. exactly. And that's how we end up damaging our own relationships. You can imagine that guy, right? Yeah. To his boys, mm. they're probably telling him, ah, that babe, she was not even liking you. Yeah. He's not acknowledging yeah. what the, he the was doing. Mm. Right? Yeah. 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 And most of us do that. You get in a, I mean, we've all been in a scenario where you've probably been toxic to the other person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Simply because you hadn't dealt with the stuff that you've gone through. No, 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 just what? You're not a super. Uh-huh. Anyway, you were saying- so with that said, mm-hmm. what, did, what have we learned about toxic, toxicity? Because it's something that before I experienced it and then learned about it, mm-hmm. I, I probably would have continued. Yeah, I would have made the next person maybe be even more toxic. But I feel like from cons- from previous relationships, I've been better mm-hmm. in communicating what I'm thinking. Yeah, um, and also trying to hear what the other person is saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I mean. Uh, one, I'm I've not learned, perfect. Yeah, I'm getting better. Yeah. Mm. One, I've learned that you are a product of your environment because sometimes you go into a relationship because, again, like I said, you like the idea of the person, but you guys are not compatible. compatible. Yeah. If he was probably mm. a bit different from me, we would have probably have worked it out. But he was those people, he goes here, may go here. Yeah. Because we always need someone who can go here when I'm here. Yeah. But that never <laughs> happened. So it was constantly, we were emotionally abusing mm. each other, we were gaslighting each other, and it's just all because I was a product of that environment. I'm not that kind of person now yeah. and even in my previous relationships i'm not that kind it's of just person. inside you like the right person will like yeah the, the right person can ignite the, <laughs> a very bad side of you that's, what that's, so, true. that's yeah, so true that's what that's i learned so yeah i think hard people hard people and uh before because in life everybody sees life through their own eyes yeah. mm-hmm. and one thing you you would uh, not get to understand if you've not gone for therapy mm-hmm. is you most of the times you end up projecting um, things in your relationship from stuff that happened in the past, yeah, exactly from trauma that you've probably faced and mm-hmm. you didn't know how to handle it, so you probably boxed it and you're like, ah, this is how guys are, mm-hmm. this is how chicks are, mm-hmm. and then now that in the end it goes on and it hurts you, yeah, because you Eventually. would you probably would be spoiling something really good yeah. mm-hmm. just because you chose not to go and like unpack fix like what you said your yeah. and yeah. fix your problem. Yeah. Yeah. So what I think people need to do is before you 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 get with someone figure out yourself first. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that you true. don't go hurting God. someone because of someone that hurts well, you. Honey. That is so true. But you know what? Let me tell you something, guys. <laughs> it's easier said than done. Yeah. And I'm going to throw forward to our next episode. You yeah. see, like even me now, 
I just told my friend like two weeks ago that I've started the celibacy journey again. Mm-hmm. Don't ask me what. I went and said some shit here and then found out some shit. And now I'm just like, I'm never dating in this city. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had found someone. Let me tell you mine now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it next yeah. time. So, what I was trying to say. Yeah. You have all these plans of how I've learned now. Mm. I'm, selling, I'm, I'm this, this mm. now. Yeah. And then you're, you're like, you know what? Let me just mind my own business and focus on myself. Let me let me work on myself. Mm. And then you're just there being working on yourself, working on yourself. And then you, your attractive vibe of working on yourself starts leaking. Mm. Mm. The next thing, I was just like, fuck, am I working on myself? Because I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm good. Yeah. Now let me put myself out there. Yeah. Okay, guys are into your ears. I have to just... <laughs> Wind vein. <laughs> Where is it moving? Where is it moving from? So you get there, you meet somebody, and then you're like, fuck, this is why I'm single. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. So mm. it's hard to stay single. In but you just have to remain intentional re- about is, is it. Is it just yeah. me? Is no, it's, it's, it's hard it's, to it's, stay single. It's easy to get distracted. That's the word. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. very easy to get yeah. distracted. You just have yeah. to be intentional about Man, it. Man, it's yeah. so difficult. Yeah. Like this city, yeah. I try. Yeah. Guys, I try. Yeah, you know, back now, like, nowadays, even I wear shades at night. <laughs> I don't want to see that. I don't want to see you guys. Now, bye, 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 bye. Okay. Yeah. Those are some good lessons. I hope you guys have learned from us. Thank you for listening to our TED Talk. Do you want to tell them why we didn't have the... Okay, so guys, yeah. Bear with us. We are currently planning the Boxers uh, event. Mm. Live show. And it's probably going to be in July, the live recording. So we're taking time to like prep ourselves and then we'll let you know. Because I think last Saturday was a bit too rushed and Kelly would have missed it anyway because... Because <laughs> he's he took a nap at 8 and yeah, woke up at 4 So I was... I don't care. I was so, running up and it's down okay, before. It's okay. You guys don't budget. Fine. Nick Beggins. Yes. Nick Beggins. So now you, now you just ordered for yourself. <gasps> <laughs> Are we in primary school? What? Quam <laughs> box. What happened? She just licked her food so that we don't eat it. Where do you want to go? He's gonna eat it. No, I saw the one you licked. You think myself that's a problem? I saw the one you licked. I saw the one you licked. How do you, how do you, vet, how do you vet people you kiss in the club? Before? You don't kiss people in the club? You, you shut don't. up. Ah. Shut up! Here's what you do. <laughs> First, you tell them, let's take a shot. This chile is so <laughs> Yeah, you of tequila. Take, yeah. such a good disinfectant, mm. by the way. You take a shot first, mm. then kiss them. Yeah, in movement, they disinfect. That is such a smart yeah. one. Mm. Mm. I such a smart one. Like, you, you can't clean someone's tongue. <laughs> they there's don't some put it in their mouth. No, in, like, in the club, there's no tongue. Oh, my God. They you don't know. In the club, there's no tongue. Passion is passion. Kidogo, kidogo, you're like, I just met you. <laughs> I think we should end there. Uh, <laughs> oh man. How do you vet? How do you vet someone you just met in the club? Honestly, I don't know. The first person I met that was good. Just say God is good. I okay. think we're, we're all vaccinated except me. But they don't vaccinate they you again. Against <laughs> um, the syphilis, HPV. Can you get what HPV you, from know. kissing? I was just about to ask. You know you what? Can, you Why can, don't you do there's research? Something you can get from kissing. Happies. Mono. Imagine. Ew. Mm. Mono. This is people call happies. Herpes. Happies. <laughs> just, imagine you go to the club. Where did you see the story of this guy? Hmm? He's 15. He had sex for the first time. And then? With an older lady. Hmm. He got her pregnant and he got HIV. <gasps> what? Why are you shocked? That's exactly how you get HIV. No, I'm just that saying he's 15. Most, he's black his widow, life man. has completely changed. Yep. Did you see this one about this TA in, um, I think, Bungoma? Walu uh, Yaki. <laughs> this, I swear, there's this TA who got 24 students pregnant, the headmistress, and four teachers pregnant. That guy must be like, the guy to go to the school. But you see, this is porn. Me, I'm telling you, porn makes people like just, it can turn your brain. To a point, now everything, every moment you see, you see, like, let me, I say all this sexual stuff. It's not because of porn. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you defend yourself so quickly? It's of American TV. I watch a lot of That's American true. TV. Yeah. So the we language around, is, yeah, 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 yeah. And Netflix. Yeah. But there's watch porn, especially if you consume it so much. Yeah. You know, your brain you just think it's reality. tips. There's yeah. a place where your brain tips. No. Every single place you see, you see. You've had these people who are they're shagging the exhaust pipe. Yeah. Any hole they see in here. You know the way you say Atikila Shimo Kiona, mm. literally. Mm. Right? They you I know, mean, I've never seen those guys. Have you ever seen those guys? Ew! Yes, oh I've never seen those guys who 
you can be in a in a in a in a social no in a work setting, but somehow they've sexualized. Yeah, you know, something. So even a baby yeah. in a dira. What's your favorite in a, color? Blue. Need, What's the color of your nipples? Exactly. It's those guys. Exactly. Those guys who make <laughs> sexual jokes everywhere. <laughs> but they do have those guys who make sexual jokes in mm. WhatsApp groups. Mm -hmm. Do you find it weird? Very weird. I don't contribute in WhatsApp groups that much. Nobody talks on WhatsApp. It's just yeah. people who are in WhatsApp. Yeah. WhatsApp. So here's the. But you can see when other people are talking. Mm. But someone in a in a group, you are like sixty of you. You're in the same office. Yeah. Then someone has shared. <laughs> Look at this guy who's being shagged by the dog. <laughs> You know the first thing automatically first i go i take you i block you voila. right not that yeah, i block you silently i take you i say come here come here and you're blocked up. <laughs> don't block yourself in there because i'm just like i can already tell what you do with your pastime no. yeah. i can tell exactly what you do what you do in your pastime is what comes out of you yeah mm. right and you find someone who's just only talking about like sex stuff at, hey, you know, rhino, you know, everything is actually and then you're like you know, you know, that's why you can't have good sex in your teenage years because you're busy watching porn and thinking that that is how like you're supposed to you don't shake hands hello shaking hands is because of bathrooms guys don't wash their hands have you seen just two days ago you what is this about do you want something do you want something Oh, Julia, too early. Oh, me and Anna, my sweet nothing. Sana, was it? You didn't box. Nini, nini. Eh? You didn't box. You see, last morning, I didn't turn up. Right, my mother said to say.